guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. So Nicki Minaj is about to go on one of the highest grossing female rap tours, okay, of all time. Extending her record as one of the highest grossing female rap artists with the biggest net worth, okay? Now, um, according to Nicki Minaj's last tour, the Pink Pink tour, she grossed $22 million for 55 shows, averaging around $400,000 per show. That's how much she's getting paid, okay? Now she's doing 56 shows and allegedly is, you know, a million dollars per show is not... Um, four hundred thousand. So she could possibly be making fifty six million, um, for this tour, which is going to help her net worth. Now on Google, it says that Nikki is worth you know one hundred and fifty million dollars. It hasn't even you know went up since like two thousand eighteen or two thousand nineteen. But after this tour, she definitely will be worth. 200 million or 250 million dollars and she will still have her crown as one of the richest female rappers of all time okay so congratulations to Nicki Minaj for continuing to make history moving on from that fans are speculating that Nicki could be on Ari's internal sunshine's album because she recently commented um, her eyes for Ariana's promotional picture for her album, and so did the Queen of Christmas. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, the track list just dropped, and I don't see Nicki Minaj, but the Queen of Christmas is on, on the track list either, but that could be because she was on the Yes and Remix, so maybe that don't count. I don't know if I'm here for the Ari and Nikki collabs. And I don't think Republic is going to push it. I think Republic, like the last three or four collaborations, because Side to Side came out in 2016, you know, the last three or four collaborations that came out in like 2019, 2018, um, you know, the label just didn't push it for whatever reason. I don't think it's necessary because, you know, they already got like five collaborations out. Okay. Only one of them really um, was a complete hit, in my opinion. And that was Side to Side. Side to Side is a classic to me. Um, but I feel like the label just never gives Nikki the push that she needs. And they're both signed to Republic. But Nikki and Ari do make bops. Okay. So I wouldn't care if it comes out. I don't think it's necessary. But um, I wouldn't be mad at the collaboration because they do have a lot of good songs together. Okay. So let me know how y'all feel about that. And another thing is when it comes to, you know, um, collaborations just in general in 2024, I want people, not just Nikki, but other artists to collaborate with artists they haven't collaborated with before. You know, Nikki and Ari is great, but what about Nikki and the Chart Obsessed Racist? Now, that would be fire. Moving on to Dojo. So Dojo Cat now ties Nicki Minaj as the female rapper. With the most solo weeks spent inside the Paola Board Hot 100 Top 10 for 56 weeks total. So congratulations to Dojo Cat. Um, currently, I believe she has Agora Hill still in the Top 10. I think the town is dead is no longer in the top 10, but it might still be charting. But, you know, one thing about Doja, you know, in the last few years, she always gets a top 10 um, every time she drops an album. OK, whether it's pale or not, um, you know, she manages to top the charts. Now, Agora Hills, to me, is well deserved for a top 10. The town is dead. No, I'm going to pass on that. The town is dead to me is not. Worthy of a top 10, but it did go number one. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Moving on to Criminal B. Criminal B is teasing her return. She has blacked out all of her social media. Um, and I think she has archive, um, you know, her pictures. Preparing for her return for the next era. 
And also, allegedly, she is still plotting on her lick back towards Nicki Minaj. You know, allegedly, she has a few deals in the stash. Um, you know, she's trying to get a um, Walmart version of Queen Radio, like Scratch Off did. Okay. Um, and, you know, she's trying to do her own documentary. You know, a lot of celebrities are doing the documentary thing. You know, Nikki hasn't put hers out yet, but Criminal B has Nicki Minaj's old manager, Irvin. Okay. So Irvin has been, you know, trying to get Criminal B these major deals. Okay. Let me know if you guys would be here for a Criminal B documentary, a Queen B Walmart, um, Queen Radio. Um, I don't think her talking on the radio is a good idea because she's not that great at public speaking. Um, but the documentary, if she documents all her face changes throughout the years, that actually could be helpful to a lot of different women who want to get surgery. Okay. But I don't think she'd be able to document anything in regards to music because no shade, Partisan Fontaine writes the majority of her hits. This would be her lick back to Nikki because Nikki doesn't have Queen Radio right now. Um, and then on top of that, um, she has never put out her documentary. She's still probably working on it, but she hasn't done that yet. So Cardi B is trying to, you know, put it out before Nicki Minaj does. OK, so let me know how you all feel about that. Now, moving on to Devil Nation. So Trey Tracks, the producer who worked on Put It In The Trash Again with Scratch Off and Criminal B, um, is also in cahoots with Devil Nation. And Devil Nation reposted Scratch Off and Criminal B going platinum for their single Put It In The Trash. And allegedly, Camel Face, Camel Face is looking into working with Scratch Off a little bit more. Okay? Now, Currently, I think she is managed by um, Cortez Bryant, who used to work with Nicki Minaj, too. Um, but Devil Nation is a bigger management company. You know, they got Meg over there. They got Riri. Um, I think they still got J. Cole, even though, you know, they're not really helping him over there as much. You know, they got Tanaje. So, you know, Camel Face is looking into working with Scratch Off. Now, I think this is probably to get back at Nicki Minaj. No shade. You know, working with Megan, Scratch Off, Doja Cat, all the women that, you know, um, Nicki really don't fool with. But it technically is the music business. I just don't think Devil Nation can really help Scratch Off's career. I mean, she already working with... Um, Brian Cortez or Cortez Bryant, whatever his name is. And unfortunately, she's still flopping on the charts. Me personally, I don't think people care about Scratch Off musically as much as they do like Nikki, Doja, the Ice Spices. You know, I think that she kind of like fell off. I don't even know if she really was ever on top, but she's not really super hot musically. That's why she barely charts. No shade. Moving on to the Queen of Music. Queen B has earned a number one in the following Paola Board genre charts. Pop, R&B, rap, hip-hop, ain't that the same thing? House, country, dance hall. And she finally goes number one with Texas Hold'em. Um, she had 29 million streams, 16 point million in airplay and radio. See, radio matters. Okay, 16 million. Um, and it came out what two weeks ago, and then she got 29,000 in per sales. Okay, so let me know how y'all feel about that. Beyonce also makes history as the first black female artist to reach number one on the Hot 100 with a country song. This is why I call Queen B the Queen of Music, she's the only artist that was able to go number one in all these different genres. The Trent Obsessed Racist hasn't gone number one in dance hall, no shade, or doing house, no shade. Not saying that she can't, but she hasn't. 
She wouldn't be able to go number one with R&B because she don't got an R&B voice. No shade. So, you know, we got to give um, Queen B her props. But like I said before, is this genuine? No. I think that, you know, she is strictly trying to get, um, you know, the album of the year scammy. She is trying to get the accolades that she wasn't able to get before. She wants to dominate country so she can get back the white audience. That's why I believe that she went and did house music. She's trying to get back the white audience. And allegedly, she got a rock album. Okay? So she's trying to take some of the Charter Says Racist fans away from her. Moving on to Megan. So as we know, um, Champagne Thickums posted Free Tory on his Instagram which sent the internet into a frenzy. And allegedly, he will be clapping back at Megan Thee Stallion in um, a song. Not only is he basically dissing, you know, Megan on social media, but he will be dissing her in the music too again. Okay? Um, so Megan might want to get her pen ready because it ain't over. Um, a lot of fans are speculating the reason why Champagne Thickums is coming down on Megan Thee Stallion is because, you know, she rejected him, okay? But in hindsight, I mean, Megan slept with everything, okay? I think there's more to the story than that. Um, but, you know, Champagne Thickums to a lot of different women ain't sexy um, because he comes off as a cornball, no shade. Nobody's rushing to sleep with Champagne Thickums, so I can see why she probably... Slept with the baby versus Champagne Thickums only because, you know, the baby had a certain swag to him. Champagne Thickums, sometimes he tries too hard. Okay, in my opinion. But, um, no shade of Megan Thee Stallion. She's still community coochie because you slept with the baby, Carl, you know, Tori, g Easy, Trey Songs. You slept with a lot of different people. So, to turn down Champagne Thickums after you done slept with the whole industry, no shade. No shade. Um, you know, that just doesn't make any sense because Champagne Thickums could actually help your career. Look what he did with Sexy Red. Look what he has done with SZA. You know, none of the rappers that you slept with have helped your career. So you don't have good coochie management, in my opinion. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Boy, oh boy. Pissy Carisha, you got to come to the front of the congregation. So, P. Diddy, no pun intended, is getting sued again. Um, And there has been several allegations against him. And unfortunately, Carisha, your name got brought up. Okay? Now, um, Rodney Jones has accused young Miami's cousin of allegedly assaulting him. OK, um, so that P. Diddy was showing him tapes and touching him inappropriately. OK, now I'm not really shocked. I always knew pissy Carisha. Yuck, yellow mouth Carisha was up to no good. OK, I always knew she was complicit. I want y'all to keep that same energy y'all have for Nicki Minaj in regards to her husband with pissy face Carisha. See, Carisha has incriminated herself throughout the years. We have the receipts. You know, when she was going back and forth with one of Diddy's concubines, I think her name was Gina or something like that. One of the Asian girls he was going back and forth with. She said, be where you a munch. If I wanted you to eat my coochie, Diddy would have you on your knees, ho. You a eater. You want a baby B word? I have a career hoe. You're a certified freak. Well, how would you know that, Carisha? Unless you was forcing her to do stuff to you. You haven't heard from Diddy since the warns reminiscent on an abortion. Let that hurt go. Oh my goodness. And then she had the nerve to call her Chung Lee. That is racist. Wow, 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 wow. Then she said, Gina... You've been down bad ever since I came into the picture, ho. You've been crying for a baby for 10 years. You've been around a B-word that eat coochie and D-word. He feel like you a eater, okay? So she basically said that Diddy 
be forcing her to sleep with other people, similar to what he did with Cassie. And then she said, you the same B word that was crying on Tasha K because you wanted a baby. Poor Sushi. See, Carisha has shown her true colors. This is all documented. Okay, so here are the receipts of Carisha admitting certain crimes. Okay, how would you know she was an eater unless Diddy probably forced y'all to, you know, get with each other? Okay, now JT should cut ties with Carisha. Okay, I think it's time for JT to officially cut ties from Carisha. Don't make no music with her because she's bad business. Not only is pissy face, yuck mouth, yellow mouth, nasty, offbeat Carisha, not talented. She's caught up in Diddy's mess. Is not looking good for pissy face Carisha. You took all that piss just to end up in court and your sugar daddy's career is over. Not looking good. But anyway, I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description. I hope you guys have a great day. And bye-bye.